Welcome back to France and welcome back to the Aldi Show, episode four. We're here tonight in the Players Lounge. It's the end of day four. Everybody's starting to wind down a little bit and we're ready for a great show. Lots of interesting stuff to talk about. I'm Brian. And I'm Kaz. And don't forget, you can connect with us, hashtag the Ulti Show and hashtag WCBU 2017. So what are we going to talk about on today's show? We've got lots of show tonight, full pack show. We've got an interview about Ultimate Love. Oh, Ultimate Love. Nice. We've got an interview about Ultimate Travel. Uh, we're going to talk about the poll question from yesterday, and we're going to talk about results because it's Wednesday, it's moving day, starting to get interesting here at the championships. Okay, so what are some of the key results that have been happening today then, Brian? Well, we've had, so just a couple hours ago, we had what was probably the biggest upset of the world championships so far in the mixed division. India beat Sweden, knocked them out of the round of 16. Wow. So that was quite, quite a, a matchup even more so because Sweden, earlier in the event, had beaten the USA. Fantastic. Well, actually, we spoke to the India mixed team earlier today, and a couple of their players were saying they managed to get to universe point in a couple of games but then lost out on that last point. But they said they were really keen for the next matches to win a few more. So great competitive spirit we're seeing there. It certainly worked out for them, so it's good. So good luck to India. As well in mixed division, and I'm not going to tell you what happened in this game, uh, Philippines played the USA. Uh, Great game, fantastic finish. It's on FanSeat. You can go to FanSeat.com, get that free subscription, watch that game. Pretty amazing. Well, let's let you do I that. I have to say, I do know the result of that game, and it is absolutely worth watching, guys. Fantastic, fantastic game. Moving over to the men's division, they're into the quarterfinals. Big game that happened earlier today in the power pools. Spain played the USA. They lost, but they lost by one point. They were trading points all through that game. By far the closest game that USA men have had. Mm -hmm. Those two teams, have they seeded into the uh, playoffs, could meet in the semifinals. So if you want to watch that game, if you can. Very interesting. In the women's, uh, the women's division, they're just finishing up some of the power pools ahead of, uh, ahead of the playoffs. Mm -hmm. We're going to have some big games. USA playing Russia. Uh, mm -hmm. That's going to be a huge game to Titans. Both those teams want that gold medal. So this is kind of maybe a precursor to that game. Canada is playing France, hometown France. They're getting a ton of support from the locals. Oh, fantastic. Absolutely. So there's that's some of the great action. Uh, the Masters divisions are all kind of into their end of their round robin, mm -hmm. and teams are fighting to get top four to get into those semifinals. So some really interesting stuff. And tomorrow's show, we'll talk about those playoff matches as they get set. Very interesting stuff. Some even more good stuff to come, I think. Uh, it, it's only getting more exciting out there on the sand. So, Brian mentioned earlier, we are going to be speaking to someone about ultimate love. Let's take a look at that interview now. So here we are with Uni and Aaron. Thanks for joining us, guys. Thank you. Thank you for having us. We're going to talk about one of the best subjects, ultimate love. <laughs> so what I wanted to know from you guys is, where did you meet and what did it have to do with the ultimate community? Okay. I'll go first. You okay. can edit. Um, uh, it was my first time out of the U.S. I was traveling globally, and uh, I had to go to be, do a piece of work in Korea for about a year. Uh, and so I played, I played Ultimate in the U.S., I went to Korea, and I looked for an Ultimate community in Korea. Uh, and I connected with a small group there, and Uni was one of the patriarchs of the community. Um, and so we were having lunch one day, and I, I fell in love with the person sitting across the table from me. <laughs> Sweet. How was that for you? Was that the same experience or not really? <laughs> Cute headache. Different memories. <laughs> Different memories. To me, yeah, I mean, I, I definitely remember our first meet. Uh, but I was, I was, I was a newbie. I was, a, I was just starting out uh, as an ultimate player. I, was, I played. I played different sports, but it was just difficult to find team sports that women can play in Korea. Yeah. Uh, th things are improving, but that was literally the case. And Ultimate was the one community where it was very inclusive, very receptive to the girls who can run, love to catch, and um, so. Uh, and you called a man this community. time, which is obviously great. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it was a good catch. <laughs> good catch. Yeah, and Aaron and I, we were. I mean, we were. We became friends good teammates. Uh, we, we were one of the earlier uh, members of the traveling team from Korea. Yeah. So we had a lot of fun international tournaments that we went together and I think that's really what, um, what really sealed the deal for us. Yeah. yeah. So um, I guess you started dating while you were in Korea. Did you stay in Korea then or did you move away and what happened after that? 
this is a long, this is a little <laughs> long part. You can give us the short version if you rather. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I was in Korea about 10 months. And then uh, from there, India, Africa, back to Asia, US, etc. And um, our, our love blossomed kind of distance wise. <laughs> um, and then uh, she was with me in India for a bit, then in Africa for a bit. Uh, we were always trying to find ultimate wherever we could. Um, uh, and then I went back to Korea. Fantastic. So obviously it's worked out for you guys. I can see you're wearing Singapore jerseys. So you guys have moved to Singapore, right? Yep. And you're playing there now, which is fantastic. What do you think it is about the ultimate scene that brings people together? I mean, not just in relationships, but as friends. I mean, you make friends with people all across the world and people love and respect each other in a way that they don't in other communities, right? No, definitely. I have, definitely has to do with the spirit of the game. You know, that's the... This, when you explain, you know, what this sport is about, spirit of the game, the inclusive, the fair-mindedness, there's no sports like this. Um, so that anchoring the whole culture of, of Ultimate, I think it's what really brings people together. And it's not it's not just the spirit, it's the people. It's the people who really embody uh, the spirit of, uh, of the game uh, throughout the world, everywhere. We, we, we did a fair amount of traveling. We did a uh, fair amount amount of like playing in international tournaments and we find it everywhere at every single ultimate player that we meet so I think that's no, it's really the cool. only thing globally where you can show up somewhere go to a pickup game and have at least 11 instant friends that you can hang out with right and you know you guys can talk it's always open it's always spirit um, I've worked and lived all over the world this is the only thing this is the only sport uh, where you can get that sense of community without with this showing up right so it's great well, thank you very much. Thanks to Uni and Aaron. There you go, guys. Ultimate love seen here on the Ulti Show. Oh, well, wasn't that very cute? Great story. Nice story to hear about it. And actually, it is a subject that's very close to my heart because when I first started playing Ultimate in Indonesia about 10 years ago now, uh, the couple that taught me to play were a couple that had met. They were from different countries and they'd both met together in Thailand eventually got married, they had the ultimate love story as well. And I understand you might have a bit of an ultimate love story. I also have an ultimate love story. I met my wife, Dale, playing ultimate. Very and even nice. though she was a way better player than me, <laughs> she let me go out with her anyway. So maybe then, because she was a better player. Maybe, I don't know. I haven't asked her, but it's worked out all right. Very sweet. All right, guys, so we're going to have another little interview now, hey? You, you bet. One other story you always get when you come to Worlds is how far people traveled. Sometimes it's right around the corner for Worlds, but often it's a lot of plane trips and a lot of miles. Yeah. And we're going to talk to somebody who is maybe from the farthest point away from this tournament. Right. And they're, they're from Team New Zealand, All right. right? And it's Nando and Esta. Guys, come on in. Pass that Great, so here's Nando from the men's team, Esta from the mixed team, and we've, uh, you know, we've gotten out the geography book, so we figured out that you guys are from the farthest point away. So uh, you're from Christchurch, New Zealand, and, and Nando, can you explain what you had to do to get here? Yeah, so uh, coming from Christchurch, uh, Christchurch is sort of small airport, so uh, we had to fly to a stopover destination, so first for me it was Sydney and for Easter it was Auckland and then on to, which was a three hour flight, three hour flight. Uh, and then from Sydney it was to Hong Kong which was nine hours and then from Hong Kong through to Paris another 12 hours. So a lot of, a lot of flight. Yeah, so well, we hadn't even made it to the, to the fields by then so it was another, another five hours to buy train and then yeah, it was a bit of a, That's bit of a mission. Cr crazy. So if you're someone else that came to this championship and you think you traveled a long way, <laughs> you haven't. That was a long way. So uh, one thing, I've been to a lot of world championships, and one thing I can say for sure is that uh, the teams from New Zealand, the teams from Australia, they don't let the travel deter them from coming. There's always strong teams, lots of teams that come. So my question is, what, what is it about the ultimate players down under who like traveling so far for ultimate? Um, I guess it's really like the community, the world's community is so different, the, um, the style of play that we come into contact with is amazing, like everybody from different countries plays slightly differently and that's not something that we ever experience in New Zealand, like we tend to play a very very similar style within our clubs, so it's really good for us to come over here, get that experience and then take it back to New Zealand and use that to help develop the sport a little more in, in New Zealand itself. So. Uh, it's such a big draw for us, as well as we get to travel to beautiful places like Royan, where it's 
apparently 40 degrees every day. So <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah. That's great. So it's, it's not always all about the games. Yeah. Some stuff happens off, off the sand. So what's one of the greatest things or best experiences you've had so far away from the fields that you can talk about? Yeah, uh, I guess for, for me, like well, this is our first time playing at Beach Worlds at a major beach tournament. So just the fact that you can go and cool off in the cool off in the sea after a game is pretty pretty novel and pretty amazing to be honest. So even though the sands are or oh, the beach is a little bit a um, bit of a mud flat, it's still nice to go and cool off. I've I've had a swim or two myself and it's fantastic. And how about you, Esther? Uh, yeah, for for me, like I, uh, I've traveled quite a bit, so I know a lot of people from different countries. So um, off field, it's really good to meet up with those people, um, and so yeah, it's it's always exciting when you see them for the first time, and you're just kind of screaming at each other. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of yeah, so that it's it's just amazing, and it's it's just really highlights how awesome the ultimate community is. So yeah. Well, great. Thanks very much, guys. Good luck in the rest of your games for the rest of the week, and thanks for being on the Alti Show. All right. Thanks. Uh, thanks. Thank you guys. Great to hear from you. Shout out to Christchurch where my brother lives actually as well. So he's quite a distance away. I appreciate that distance. I'm not going to complain about my nine hour trip from Vancouver to, uh, to here. It puts all our journeys in perspective, doesn't it? Amazing stuff. So we're going to give the results now of yesterday's poll. So yesterday we asked you, which volunteer job do you most appreciate at an ultimate tournament? And there were some very clear results actually. 45% of people voted that the water and garbage tasks were the ones that people most appreciated. And I, I appreciate that they appreciated that because those are two of the tasks that are usually the hardest and the ones that people complain about. Nobody notices water unless there's no water and nobody notices garbage unless there is garbage. So it's tough to do that job and those people who do that, they hustle from first game to last all day long and they're seldom seen but big impact on the tournament. Massive kudos to them. And so secondly in the poll, we got uh, quite a clear second and 30% of people voted for the medics. Of course, an incredibly crucial job Absolutely. to have great medics here on the fields, volunteering, really appreciated as well. Yeah. And you got to have those medics, especially here. We've had a lot of feet, foot burns and at any ultimate tournament, you know, the medical is important. Absolutely. So let's then announce the next poll we're going to do. You guys can connect with us online and you can answer this poll. We're going to ask you, did you meet your partner through an ultimate tournament or community? So we're following on from the ultimate love theme today. So did you meet your partner through an ultimate tournament or community? Any predictions on what it's going to be for yes? Oh, I think that could be a good 50% of oh, people. I, I think it's going to be higher. I think it's going to be people who are watching. I'm going to go 70. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. Maybe if they haven't yet, they will do. So there's something to look <laughs> forward to, right? In the ultimate community too. Sure <laughs> well, that's good. So we're wrapping up now, but we want to remind everybody uh, catch all the games. I said earlier on in the show, games are getting more exciting. So check them out live streamed. You can go to live.wcbu2017.org, catch those live games, or you can go to our sponsor at fanseat.com, catch a bunch of more games that are going on. It's this ultimate all week long here at, uh, at the beach. So that's it for tonight's show, guys. This has been the Ulti Show. We're here all week on the beach. Thanks for watching. <laughs>